In today's video, guys, we're going to be testing a 20 gauge versus a 12 gauge, and we're going to be patterning them for turkey season. Here's the plan, guys. I have three identical shells. They are all Remington Premier Magnum Turkey High Velocity. This one happens to be 20 gauge, 3 inch. This one happens to be 12 gauge, 3 inch. And this one is 12 gauge, 3 and a half inch Magnums. And we're going to be testing them at 20, 40, and 60 yards. And we're going to be using these targets right here, so we're going to be able to see how dense is the pattern and what kind of distance can you go out to and still be clear to kill a turkey. Let's go set up the first one. This is going to be for the 20 gauge. 20 gauge, 20 yards, 3 inch shell. With a turkey choke, I don't think we're going to have any problems at all filling this thing up. And if we do, we have problems. I mean, you should be able to kill them at this range with a rock. What's this turkey's not here's name? Rondale. Here's the thing though, guys. From what I know, you don't necessarily need to aim at the head. You kind of want to aim right there. Right there in the center of the target. That way, if you're a little high, a little low, it's fine because if you aim right here and you're off a little bit, you're still going to hit his neck. If you mess up, you're going to hit his brain. If you aim right here and you mess up, you're going to miss. Boom. Let's shoot it. 20 gauge, 3 inch shell, 20 yards. All right, here we go. I've not even seen these, by the way. So, just a yellow shell. Ready? Buster on Dale. And we actually have a GoPro right here because it's not all about killing power, okay? If I wanted to go with straight killing power, I'd go with a two gauge with a four foot long shell, okay? But it ain't about that. It's about walking a hunt with and not break my arm. Because I'm going to the WWE soon. I can't be hurting myself. All right, dude, this looks pretty good. That, it, is... that, looks, that looks very good. That's a very nice pattern right there. That may be the shell I end up using for the year. But I was aiming right here. So the pattern was a little hot. But if I stretch out to 40, that pattern may have came on and fall down. We'll see here in a minute. But honestly, 20 yards, magnum shell, turkey load. That is very good pattern that's impressive right that's there. a very good pattern i'm gonna set that one right here and now we're moving up to the 12 gauge look at that it's already flopping son <laughs> we're putting those 20s to the side now we're pulling out the 12 gauge magnums but it's just a big old green shell it's three inches long so i'm shooting this one out of a pump so all right kill dog oh my gosh Go for it. Just being a three inch, I could tell. Just, just being a three inch, I could tell it kicked a lot harder. But the case got stuck in there, so that's no good. All right, so 12 gauge. Hey man, that definitely put more heat on target, but not any more killing heat. I mean, you just have more pellets here. But at that distance, the extra pellets has not made a difference. Let's try three and a half inch magnum at 20 yards. Now, depending on where you're hunting, whether you're hunting in thick stuff or out in a field like this, your average turkey distance could vary quite a bit. Like, if you're in some thick stuff, 20-yard shot may be your average shot. But if you're out in a field, you may get a 60-yard shot. And you want to know whether your gun can do that. So, here we go. Three and a half inch. Look at that. That thing's terrifying. It barely even fits in there. All right, here we go. Go for it. Go for it. You know, that actually wasn't that bad. I definitely felt it more, and I am going to the WWE. Probably a lot stouter than you are, uh, so just keep that in mind. Basically, what I'm saying is you're weaker than me, and I'm strong. But anyways, I kind of missed the turkey. And that's what we were saying. At 20 yards, you can miss a little bit, and you miss the whole turkey. Now, obviously, if this was over here, it'd been a dead turkey. And it still is a dead turkey. But that's the thing about a big old gun. You get ready for the big old gun, and sometimes you put your focus on not breaking your shoulder instead of putting your focus on putting the shot where it needs to be. So as for turkey versus turkey, both of the 3 inch 12 and 20 beat the 3.5. We're moving back to 40. This is honestly a long shot for any shotgun ever. But we're going to see just how long of a shot it is and how capable these shotguns are. 20 gauge, 40 yards. Here we go. Shooting a 20 gauge, even with a magnum shell, doesn't feel like I'm shooting anything. Uh, Maybe? I'm going to say no, he's not dead, but he's literally flying away. And he is scared to death. I don't think he died. Like, we'll see if the 12 gauge's extra pellets really makes a difference. Because, you know, the only difference between a 12 gauge and a 20 gauge is literally just the amount of pattern. Which is directly correlated to pattern density. <clears throat> 12 gauge, 3 inch, 40 yards. Eating. 
Jeez, man. 40 yards is stretching us out. By the way, guys, that's not a vital. That's literally just his, what do you call that thing? Down here, that ain't gonna kill a turkey. That may not even made it through the feathers. Dang. This 40 yards ain't no joke. 40 yards, 12 gauge, three and a half inch, super magnum. Break your shoulder. What is going on here? This does no better than the 20 gauge. Is 40 yards just too much for a, a shotgun? Look at this. We're looking at 20 gauge, 12 gauge, and then 12 gauge, three and a half inch. And these all look exactly the same. What's the deal? This is making me wonder, should we even go out to 60? Because I don't know if any of those would kill a turkey five out of five times. Look at that. That's, that's not good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Those are not good. All right, guys, I'm reaching in my back pocket. And I'm pulling out a TSS 20 gauge shield. It's back at home though, I gotta go get it. All right, what makes TSS TSS and what TSS stands for is that, here you go, zoom in on it. TSS stands for tungsten steel shot. What? Tungsten super shot. Uh, yeah, whatever. Tungsten and steel are different things, but tungsten is a very dense metal, which means you can get the same weight of shot, but it's going to be a lot smaller, and therefore you can stick a lot more pellets into a 20 gauge shell. Now they make these for 12 gauge too, but a lot of people say that, well, 20 gauge is plenty enough if you're using TSS. But we're going to find out because by golly, nothing else could hold up at 40 yards. If, can this thing? I do know that TSS is like literally 10 times as expensive. So we'll see if it's 10 times better. It may be the future. We're about to find out. All right, here we go. I'm curious to see how, if it's going to kick more because I, I don't really know. By the way, guys, we ran out of turkey targets, so I shot it at a little Caesars box. And let's look at it. You can see that the pellets definitely lined up more. Like you definitely have more pellets on target. Way more pellets on target compared to this. And by letting the pellets be smaller, you're able to get more pellets, which means your pattern can stay just as wide, but the density is just gonna get more. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this one, which is the three and a half inch Magnum, and um, we're gonna move back to 60 and shoot it with that. The pellets are smaller, so hopefully we'll be able to tell the difference, but we'll show a before and after anyhow. Dang, that's far. That's a really far. This is far. You can barely see it. That's where you're shooting at, way down there. If this does good, I'm gonna hunt with my 20 this year. Heck of a lot lighter gun to pack around. Besides kick, that is a big advantage for 20 gauge is that the overall gun and the shells are a whole lot lighter. The guns aren't cheaper and the shells aren't cheaper, but the gun's lighter, so. All right, so looking at it, oh, there it is right there. Here, take a good screenshot of it. Here's the before and afters, guys, since we didn't have another target. I don't think it did much, just saying. So yeah, they dropped a lot though. That's true. Well, they are, they are heavier. Long story short, it didn't, it didn't do, it didn't kill me. I'd say if you shut, like held like right here though. Yeah, but here's the thing. My front sight's this big. Ow, what in the world? How did I do that? I'm bleeding now. I got turkey target cut. You got tetanus. Anyways, my front sight was this big, so yeah. Ain't much I'm gonna do about that. Now yeah, different shells will shoot different in different guns, but relatively 20 gauge, 12 gauge, and 12 gauge, three and a half inch. Honestly, I didn't see a big difference at all in performance if you want to watch this video where i actually killed a four bearded turkey check that out or this video where we took out a cow blind hid behind it and actually ended up killing a turkey with it